Okay, um, welcome to Inches and Insights with Bell Medical. Yeah. We are here with Eric. Hello. Um, I'm Ariana. I'm Eric. Um, but yeah, like, I, we're happy to be here. Yes, this is exciting. Um, so <clears throat> I want to start by talking about our weeks. Mm -hmm. um, Mother's Day's coming up. Mother's Day's up. coming up this week. So fathers, get going. Or hopefully did something because this is going to air in the future. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> oh man. This is after Mother's Day. Do you have any um special plans for Mother's Day and the I mothers in your life? I don't know. Okay, my mom has everything. And like that sounds bad. Like, oh, like that's just a cop out. You Hard know? to buy gifts like, for. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I just feel like if I get her things, it's like she's not gonna use them. Right. Does she need another pair of slippers? Probably not. No. <laughs> no, she doesn't. A new bathrobe. Uh... I know. So I thought maybe Maybe we'll buy flights to go see her. Oh, like fun. not on Mother's Day, yeah. but like give her, you know, That's like, oh, idea. we're coming in June or whatever. Sure. So I might do that. But for my mother-in-law, we we were at Costco and she like pointed out the Ninja Creamy uh, and she was like, I want one of those so bad. Nice. And every time that happens, I like write down my phone, <laughs> say text that Text all your later. siblings. <laughs> but yeah, so I texted uh, all the girls and I was like, do you guys want to go in on this? So. That's fun. I'm That's excited awesome. about that. My family's like, at least I am and I think my mom is too, like we're kind of like, oh, I want that. You guys can get me that for yeah. Christmas, for, for my birthday, this whatever, exact right? thing. <laughs> so she she told me once, like a couple months ago, and I actually managed to remember it. She, saw, she was going through Instagram and saw this T-shirt, the sweatshirt that said, I'm in my grandma era. Oh, cute. Which I don't think she realized that that's a Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift reference, but she's like, and I told her that. She's like, I don't care. I just really like that. And so um, I think my, my brother-in-law, not I think, my brother-in-law makes, he's a screen printer, so uh -huh. he's going to make her one of those. Oh, that's, that's Little crew neck. Such a grandma. She's great. And then I always make my wife her favorite food, which changes. So I, I, I like to cook. I'm the cook in my family. So I yeah. make my wife bre breakfast. And my kids can make, my oldest is 10 and my second oldest is eight. And so they make pancakes now. Aww. So they'll we'll probably en enlist them to make some pancakes. Bring her some breakfast Bring her, bring her some brekkie. Make her a coffee and let her eat it in bed. Cute. Hopefully it doesn't spill too much maple syrup on the sheets. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, a, that's what we're that doing. that counts. So. Yeah, for sure. Well, awesome. fun. Yeah. Um, so today I want to talk about semaglutide. Oh, baby. Always. Yes. I feel like we're we, always talking about it. Well, there's a reason though. There's it's lots like, of reasons. Oh, why. Eric's here with Ariana. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> Gotta capitalize. Oh, man. I know. Um, <clears throat> but I just wanted to talk about... Um, benefits of semaglutide. Nice. And this whole conversation uh -huh. started um, when I was uh, talking to you guys mm -hmm. about snoring. Ah, <laughs> snoring. So, okay, coming on this podcast is so like, let me tell you about all the terrible <laughs> things the about intimate, myself. dark details about myself, right? Let's lay it all bare. So oh. you get to know. I all. love it. I'm very much that way. Small talk, I, I'll do it. But I want to know, like, what makes like, you tick? Immediately, here Let's are talk all about my it. vulnerabilities. What are your struggles? You know, I love that. Oh, okay, God. so when me and David got married... Uh -huh. I had never snored before. Like, that wasn't a thing. Or at least you weren't aware of you snoring, yourself snoring? That's true. I don't no, know. No, no, I didn't, though. But you because didn't. Okay. for like the first two years of marriage, it uh -huh. was not a thing. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like, we got married in 2019. Uh huh. And then it was COVID. And then you stayed at home forever. Yeah. And so you're not alone. <laughs> you're not alone. <laughs> Raise his hand. <laughs> so, yeah, like a year and a half and 50 pounds later, I started snoring. Ah, uh, dang. Every night, and uh, like seriously, it was it was bad. Uh -huh. He recorded me oh, because no. I told him I was like, oh, "Is it even no. that bad?" <laughs> and like he recorded it, and and I was like, "Turn it off. I can't. Oh, I'm so sorry." That wasn't me. That's a seventy year old sailor. I like know, <laughs> I know. And we started. Okay, so we lived in Rexburg. Uh -huh. We had a two bedroom, uh -huh. and we had an air mattress. Uh -huh. So he started sleeping on the air mattress. At least he didn't kick you out. That's no, very kind of I, David. Well, <laughs> I felt bad. Like, and I'd be like, I'll sleep. And he's like, no. Like, and like, we'd start in the uh -huh. same bed. And then like he after an hour, handle it. Oh, you gosh. know, or he'd go to the couch or. Oh my gosh. And so we started sleeping in separate beds. When we moved, we have a guest bed now because uh -huh. we bought ourselves a king bed because nice. it's so much better. So you don't have to touch all the time. Oh my gosh. I know what you're talking Get about. Get a king bed because... <laughs> 
all that when real estate. When you're laying next to each other on your phones in a queen bed, it's like your arms are intertwined. Oh, that's it so is funny. Like, which I guess as a newly married couple, it was fine. <laughs> but then benefits. once we got our king bed, it was so nice. Anyways, right. got a king bed, had a queen extra in the other room, and oh. so we just slept in separate beds. Oh, man. Because it was just bad, so bad. you know? Yeah. And like, I just felt bad because it was like, if we started in the same bed, it was him that would have to move. Mm -hmm. Because I'm dead asleep. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, you're going to put an elbow in your ribs. Hey, all get this out of here. to say, once I started taking some glutide, the snoring stopped. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, like, I had bought like special retainers. Mm -hmm. I bought this pillow that has a microphone that listens to you. And if it hears snoring, it inflates. Wow. And moves your head a certain wow. way. Wow. That's cool. It worked half the time, it was kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> And it was like a big deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and whenever we went to a hotel, I had to had bring to this bring like whole little fellow. thing and like an extension oh, card and like. Make sure it's plugged in. Yeah. And so it was just like all these things that I was trying to do. And it was kind of like, I knew, I knew it was because I gained weight. Yeah. But like, what do you do? Like, okay, I just need to lose weight. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I knew I had to, but yeah. I was just like, I don't know how, I don't know if I can do it, you know? Um, and so, honestly, when we were deciding to take semaglutide, that was, like, one of the main things. Really? Nice. Yeah. And that is a valid reason. I know. That's so awesome. That is so cool. So now, I don't snore. We can sleep in the same bed again. <laughs> Marital bliss because of semaglutide. Well, it was just, like, so simple. Because, yeah. like, initially, it was like, oh, yeah, I just need to lose weight. But, like, that feels impossible. Uh -huh. But, like, with semaglutide, it was just, like, I don't know. It just, like, happened. It took away the, I don't know, like, the, because, you, you know, Semaglutide helps reduce hunger, like reduces mm -hmm. hunger, right? Mm -hmm. And then it also makes you more efficient with your insulin, so that it helps you burn weight like that. But like, you could right. do, th you could, you could eat less, right? Like that's you could do right. that, right? Right. But you could also suffer, like so. Semaglutide I, just takes away the, the the suffering. I yeah, I get really hangry. Oh, I'm like a David will tell you this one hundred percent. Like there gets to a point where he's like. You know, like you need a cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, I am just gonna drive you somewhere, and I'm gonna put oh, food in your mouth, gosh. and then I'm just like, oh, oh, life is good. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're not alone. Yeah, That's so, so crazy. I, I'm not about the diet culture. I'm not, yeah. you know, like I, I eat what I want, but I am mindful of it. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Intuitive like, eating, right? Yeah, like, what does yeah, my yeah. body need? Do I feel like I want to eat a burger right now, or do I feel like I right. want to eat a salad? Listen to that. Yeah, yeah. and so some glutide was just helpful in the portion sizing and everything. Oh, yeah. Um. But yeah, so that was like one thing that like is a direct benefit. Yeah, and that's not really re like yes, it's related to weight loss yes. and like feeling better about, you know, how I look, but uh -huh. but it's just like a whole other uh -huh. you know, avenue. For sure. Yeah. I had a similar experience in that I um like 2018 um my wife would tell me that she she would hear me waking up in the middle of the night, like gasping for breath. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't aware of that. And so I went and talked to my doctor and he had me tested for sleep apnea and I had sleep apnea. Oh my God. Which sleep apnea is where like you, you're you because of weight most of the time, like, and it can be like physiological, like just the way your nose and your throat and everything is, is, is structured. Um, but in my case, I didn't have that before and that wasn't happening, but then right. I had gained weight. And then because of the weight on your throat, like you can't you, you like stop, stop breathing, breathing. Yeah, like, that's terrifying <laughs> and so not only that but what happens is your body is constantly like trying to breathe while you're sleeping okay. and that kicks your adrenaline up which causes okay. your heart to beat faster so sleep apnea can actually cause damage to your heart wow and so i wasn't aware of that anyways i got on a cpap machine and i used that till <laughs> about uh six months ago when wow. i lost 80 pounds on semaglutide and yeah. didn't need it anymore that's so cool. So because of that, I was able to get off CPAP. Now I, I feel I dumb. Sleep. I'm like, I had to use a what? snoring pillow. Well, but, but I mean, <laughs> you didn't, but you weren't like gasping for breath in the middle of the night. You no, were just snoring. I know. You and that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. like, nah, it's different. you had it harder than I did. That's different. But, um, <laughs> at this, but also like another, so this is, so that's like a medical benefit, which is definitely right. valid. Like, and so the cool thing about CPAP machines too is like it can like, completely reverse the effects like so you can live like a, in sleep have a healthy sleeping all that but um so growing up <clears throat> i loved shopping at thrift stores yeah like i was always on the hunt for like a chunky wool sweater yeah. like some cool old like grandpa pants that's like so in right now. i was i was into it in high school i, like, I set the trend i was a hipster totally before did. a hipster <laughs> Your thrift oh hauls. gosh i was seriously into that um and then so but as i started gaining weight after you know like into my 20s like yeah. you you can't shop for 
you can't find like stuff that fits you in a, in a like cool vintage stuff in a right. shop that's you don't have three XL sizes. They didn't make three yeah. XL in the fifties, <laughs> you know. But now, so I'm losing weight. It's like I could fit into like stuff that I like, like cool old stuff that I would have that I that I liked. That was yeah. honestly like a part of my personality and that I really enjoyed. So that's yeah. been like a just like a silly little fun thing for me is yeah, I've lost I love weight. It's like that. oh, I could wear stuff that I actually want to wear mm-hmm, and like mm-hmm. stuff that I before was like oh well. Um, Walmart t-shirts and, you know, like whatever I can, whatever I can find that fits, you know, because it was a struggle. So that's, that's been fun too, as I've lost the weight. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I think clothes is like such a big thing. Ah, Like being able to. How you present yourself to the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and just like having clothes that you love that you can't fit into anymore is like really sad. And it sucks too. Cause like six months before I lost, before I got on some glue tight, like I purged my closet. And so like, I had to like literally rebuild it as I've lost. Yeah. So I was like, dang it. If I wish I would have held on to that thing. Oh my, oh my gosh. Gosh. So terrible. But yeah, I know yeah. that's. And like, I think a lot of the times it's like in diet culture, it's like, Oh, like these are my gold jeans. And like, we don't really want to do that, no. you know, no. like, but it is like, it no. is a good, your torture jeans. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> But it is it is fun to be able to, you know, like wear wear the clothes you love, mm-hmm. to feel confident mm-hmm. in your outfits and like yeah. for some people they don't care about that. But some That's people funny. it's a big deal. Yeah. Like Yeah, we and, don't judge either way, right? Yeah. Like we'll do what's best for you. If you're doing it for medical reasons, that's great. If you're doing it for I wanna fit in them dang pants or back into my wedding dress, like do yeah. it. Like you go. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, another thing, I think just like health in general, uh-huh. um, you're not holding on to as much weight. Yeah. Um, heart health yeah, is like big a deal. big thing. Big deal. Yeah. And you talked about like sleep yeah. apnea and kind of like with yeah. that, but it's, so I'll read this. Research has shown that it can reduce the risk of major cardiovascular events like heart attack, stroke, cardiovascular death in adults with type two diabetes mm-hmm. and existing cardiovascular disease. Mm-hmm. So it's just like the drug's ability to lower your blood pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, and, it kind of helps with your cholesterol, Mm -hmm. every... So I think, like, that's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like doing those things directly, but the byproduct of losing weight is that those things improve, right? Like, your body doesn't have to work as hard. Right. Like, and then having, like, physical weight on your organs, like, with, Mm -hmm. like, visceral fat. Like, the majority of what I lost was visceral fat. Right. Like, you know, just all the... the, the, And visceral fat is fat around your organs. Mm -hmm. Um, And so, like, that... Just getting rid of that is like such a big deal, and it helps with all of those things, so like in your heart health and cholesterol and blood pressure, all of that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I used to. Get, I wear an Apple Watch, and I used to get um, notifications like "You're sitting still, but your heart's beating really fast. Maybe consider improving your cardiovascular health." And I'm like, oh "Gosh, dang gosh. it!" And I don't get those as much anymore. That's so or, or at all anymore because I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm exercising oh, and it's so it's better. Good. So that's, that's yeah. A you big get the deal. thing like, "Are you stressed? Are you okay? Take take, take a few deep breaths." Take some breaths. <laughs> Yes, I am stressed. I just walked up the stairs. Oh, oh gosh. my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess the last thing I want to talk about is confidence. Nice. And we talk about it all the time. Nice. Right? Yeah. Like, But it's so important. It oh, is. Man. It's so important. And I think just, I don't know, like losing weight, seeing the change of like, and other people have seen it too, but like just me, like seeing how I was before and how I feel now. Mm-hmm is just like so different yeah. mm-hmm. and and it wasn't even like an insane amount of weight yeah 35 pounds it, i mean looking at my before and afters i'm like wow <laughs> like it was a lot yeah. mm-hmm. but i just feel like i just feel more confident and i think we've we've talked to so many people mm-hmm. who feel that way yeah they're not you're, that's not a unique experience in that yeah. sense yeah yeah and that's honestly like that's so cool like that's such a big benefit of something mm-hmm. that is how that mm-hmm. can affect you because it improves every confidence improves every aspect of your life right. interpersonally like in your in your job everything you know and i think it's kind of like a a cycle yes. right mm-hmm. so like you start to lose weight you see like oh this is working yeah. so you can make other like healthy mm-hmm. choices mm-hmm. it's an upward spiral instead of a downward spiral yes <laughs> yes <laughs> Yeah, and instead so like, of oh, a vicious cycle. Exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, so like you're like, oh, I'm seeing this working. Oh, then I can make little changes elsewhere that will mm-hmm. also help. And then it just compounds. And Or like you said, you had more energy. Uh-huh. Now you can go jogging, whereas yeah. before you couldn't. And or like, like my joints would like break because yeah. it was just so much weight to be trying to move around on. Yeah. Well, it's that keeps dropping. feeling echoey. Yeah. Well, it's dropping. That, can, that might help a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, I just feel like that's like a big thing. And I think... We put, as, in Bell Medical, we mm-hmm. put, you know, like so much, I guess, attention yeah. on confidence. And that's kind of like what we do. Yep. 
you know, we, we help people feel confident. Wendy says that we, we sell confidence. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. that. I love, I love that. that. So I think in addition to weight loss, the weight loss is awesome. Yep. There's other. Lots of other benefits. Benefits. Yep. And I think that's just a cool thing. Oh, I just thought of this. Wedding ring. Oh, being able to fit in your. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. This, I was getting to the point where I was like, I should probably take it off. Because Get a necklace. It's like, <laughs> because it was like, I went to try on like wedding bands because uh, I still don't have a wedding band. Whatever. Yeah. It's fine. I am forever engaged. I, I'm married. I don't wear mine because I fatted out of it and then I yeah. lost it. So my $10 Amazon tungsten ring. Yeah. Anyways. So I was trying on wedding bands and so I was like taking this off and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't think it's going to come off. You're like spitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but now it like, it actually fits and nice. I'm like. I don't know. I just good. feel like there's just like these little wins that like I've experienced, mm-hmm. that you've experienced, yep. and I think that a lot of our patients are seeing. Yes. So. And so like if you're on the fence, like big, big proponents right here. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's, it can, if you're looking at semaglutide as a way to help you, mm-hmm. yeah, it can. It yeah. Can. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. Totally. And... Happy to be here. Yeah, so if you have questions about semaglutide, message us. Um, We will be back next week with another fun topic. Yes. Until then. Until then. See ya. Thanks.